Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. Don't know how many parts this video is going to take. I can't post one more than about six minutes in durations because if I do that, what ends up happening is, uh, well, what ends up happening is I can't upload the video. And what I want to talk about is what I believe to be true about Barack Hussein Obama. If you watch some of my videos, you know that I don't believe that his father is Barack Obama Sr. I believe Frank Marshall Davis is a sperm donor. He was shagging Ann Dunham. She got impregnated. They needed a black fall guy. Why? Well, because Frank Marshall Davis was on the FBI watch list. And I personally believe that Obama was chosen for the role that he was in before he was even born. He was chosen for the role by a number of communists, Frank Marshall Davis being one of them, and King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia. King Abdullah knew that you cannot take America head on. You've got to do it from the inside. Bill Ayer's father was also instrumental. Bill Ayer's father was CEO of Conrad Edison in Chicago, so he was quite wealthy. And he was also a whacked out left-wing nutjob communist. And what they did is that, again, uh, Obama was groomed for the role that he's in. King Abdullah, being a Mujahm, as I stated a moment ago, knew that you couldn't take America head on. So the idea was to infiltrate it, which is what Muslims have done from the beginning of time. They come in peacefully and then they don't integrate, they don't assimilate, and their objective is to eventually dominate. And what ended up happening was they had to come up with this cockamamie story about Obama being born in Hawaii. And how they did that is that uh, they had planted a couple of uh, ads in local newspapers. Sheriff Joe Arpaio and his lead detective Mike Zulu found that a number of Japanese children that were born in Japan, their families also did the same thing. And the reason that is, is it was very easy to get a birth certificate and it was very easy to get a U.S. citizenship on a child born in Hawaii. You just had to go in and say, yeah, he was born here. I'd like to have his paperwork which was totally insane. But that's why Hawaii was chosen. It was chosen for that exact reason. And so what ended up happening was they developed this story to sell to the American people. They had a bit of a problem and the problem that they had was that since his supposed father, Barack Obama Sr., wasn't born in America. He was born in Kenya which made him a British subject. And the British Subject Act of 1948 stated that the firstborn to the woman of a British subject are themselves British subject. So what that means is that Barack Hussein Obama, if in fact his father is Barack Obama Sr., he would be a British subject as well. And the, I think it's the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals, they went ahead and they changed the definition of natural born. And they said that it doesn't matter where your parents are born, you're still eligible to become president if you yourself are an American citizen, born in the country, which is totally asinine. The reason that the Founding Fathers said what they did is because, obviously, as in the case with Barack Obama, if your parents have influence over you, which they all do, they could steer you in the direction they want to steer you, which is exactly what they did with Obama. How many millions of dollars did Obama send to Kenya? Huh? Hundreds of millions of dollars. Are you sort of getting the picture? King Abdullah never saw his dream come to fruition. 
But it didn't matter. Obama was made president of the United States, not for simply one term, but two terms. And what they used is this, you know, this racial bullshit that they always like to use. You know, and look what he's done to this country. He's pretty much set it on its present course, which is not a good course to be set on. Folks, Muslims don't integrate, they don't assimilate. They're here to dominate. And I believe that that's what eventually they're going to do. Just look around you. We've got two Muslims in Congress, and we'll have more. I'm convinced we'll have more. Folks, Obama needs to be proven to have been what he is, which is a usurper. Why isn't President Trump doing that? Hmm? I think our presidents are all selected for us. And I think that President Trump, he too, might have just been selected for us. Thanks for listening.